Hello everyone, today we are going to take Venus and Apollo to have breakfast. This new area they opened like last year and they opened this place. It's a dessert club and it's called Lolita Dessert Club. It looks super cute on Instagram and the desserts, they look so yummy. It's like a French pastry place and I can't wait to test it out. The best part is pet friendly. Took us for five minutes to get here, a little farther than what I thought in the beginning. But I'm pretty sure yeah. it's gonna be worth it. Look how cute it looks, so pink. I can't wait to go inside and try all the yummy stuff. Pink cafes are becoming very popular here in the south. They've been opening up everywhere. I have seen like four different ones and at least two of them are pet friendly. So I want to check them out in the near future. Look how yummy this look! This is the Nutella crepe and it looks so delicious, I can't wait. And I got the rose lemonade, some macarons and they also got the donuts. They look and they smell so good, I can't wait. They didn't have anything that was pet safe for Venus and Apollo to try, so we drove to Chick-fil-A to get them popachinos like that they also got desserts I have to tell you something <laughs> I was watching TV with Venus and it's not even spring yet and she's starting to shed. We had a fan on. We keep the house pretty cold and we put also fans to circulate the air and a bunch of hair start flowing away from her. That means shedding season has started. My allergies are gonna start next. It's time to blow over their hair. I've been dragging this day. I was hoping it will take longer and that we will be more into the spring season, but it looks like it's here. It's time to blow out their coats. Oh my God. Luckily in this house, we don't have neighbors right in the back. So we don't have that nightmare to deal with the hair back there, but still, oh, the craziness has started officially. <laughs> Look at all the hair that is coming out of her. It looks crazy and in person it looks even worse. The camera don't make justice of how much hair she's shedding. Oh god, this is gonna be fun. We are using the K92 blower. We have this blower for ages and it's one of our favorite ones. We have multiple ones. We have one here in our house and we leave one at my in-laws house like that when they get out of the pool we dry them out but yeah now it's Apollo's turn and you can see he's as bad or worse than Venus there's hair everywhere everywhere oh so fun the spring season and the allergies I could see me going nuts all this week Sirtek is gonna be my best friend for sure once the shooting season starts, it lasts around 20-ish something days and we will be doing this around 2-3 to three times a week. This is how much it came out from both of them in the first pass and we will have to repeat this a bunch more times. The backyard looks crazy, it looks like snow. There's so much, so much hair. For the next 20 something days, I have to brush her every single day, especially with my allergies. Uh, normally, I will brush her three to two times a week, 
but when shedding season comes is every single day this is one of the brush that i like to use during shedding season the comb is really good to get deep into the fur first i do a really quick brush on the top of the hair just to remove anything that got loose from the blower but if you really want to get all the hair out you have to use both of your hands to open their hair like a book and get really in there because most of the hair is actually under coat is not the one on top but i always pass it first on the top because they have a lot of loose hair To get better the undercoat, I'm gonna change to this brush. Again, I'm gonna pass it on top really quick to get any loose hair that she already got loose. And then we're gonna go and open it like a book to go in the where you see a lot of shedding. Like right now here in her knee, you see a bunch of hair coming out. I wanna mention that I speed up the video so it's not that long and boring but i'm not going that fast i'm really taking my time going in there to don't pull out their hair read the body language of your dog if they seem they're a little uncomfortable or they hurt stop and do it softly or change the brush <laughs> 